Welcome to the Keys Ingredients. Today, I'm here to warn you about serial killers. I bet there's a certain captain or pesky little bumblebee lurking in a pantry near you. Breakfast cereal is a packaged, refined killer. It destroys your gut lining by feeding it bad bacteria. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make sustainable substitutes that won't destroy your digestive tract or your health. So by now, you're probably really great at reading labels and knowing exactly what to look for. Most box cereals are full of sugars, artificial colors, flavors, and fortified vitamins and minerals. These are definitely ingredients you want to leave on that shelf. Don't think twice about it. It can live there for years. This week, I want to challenge you to step outside the box. We are such creatures of habit. Some of us eat the same thing for breakfast every day, and we have for years. What if you had options that were totally doable? Would you make a change? If you could wake up to oven roasted granola, crock pot oatmeal, or a boiled egg ready for you, formulas like this are sure to put that serial killer behind bars for good. And what are you to do when that serial killer is busted and doing time? You are going to make your own cereal and I'm here to show you how. I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients to this large mixing bowl and mix them up. First, I start with three cups of rolled oats. Next, three cups of steel cut oats. I use also three cups of shredded but unsweetened coconut. Just give that a quick stir, mix it all together. It smells so good. I feel like I'm on the tropics, in the tropics. My seeds, I will start with chia seeds. Add some awesome flax seeds, a little bit of hemp seeds, followed by sesame seeds, sunflower seeds. Let's give this a quick stir. Have some pumpkin seeds and almonds together. Once that is all mixed up, we will just set our dry ingredients aside. And on a very low heat, I'm going to just gently heat two ingredients. I'm going to use organic virgin coconut oil, which if you've never cooked with coconut oil before, it almost looks like it is in a more solid form. It's because it's a tropical oil. It does excellent under higher heats, so it is probably the best oil that you could cook with and it smells so good. <laughs> I'm gonna put all of my, this is a half a cup of coconut oil, and as you can see, as soon as it starts to heat up, it will turn into a clear white liquid. The sweetener that I'm going to use in this recipe, or formula, you know how I like to call my recipes formulas, I'm going to use honey. You could interchange maple syrup or honey, either way. I'm gonna add my honey there. There are two other ingredients. There's a little sprinkle of cinnamon and also some um, salt. I actually put those dry ingredients in with the oil and the honey just so it coats evenly. So it's so just be a couple minutes here. Go ahead and add, I'm actually using a pink Himalayan salt. Pure salt you can find and it's just a sprinkle dash cinnamon and what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually coat our dry ingredients and mix it up really well before we spread it on a couple of cookie sheets and pop it in the oven. The next sustainable substitute I want to do with you is crock pot oatmeal. This formula is quick, easy, make ahead and ready for you in the morning. A couple of simple ingredients here. We have some oats, some apples, cinnamon, vanilla, maple syrup, some cream and water and milk. If you're going to leave it overnight, you definitely want to add a little bit of extra liquid. The first thing you want to do is brush the inside of your crock pot with coconut oil. If you don't, it just may burn. Trust me, it will burn. So I'm going to add the liquids first. I have two and a half cups of water. I have two and a half cups of milk. 
I go ahead and add in, I have one cup of rolled oats, have one cup of steel cut oats, my apples, I used two to three small green. You can mix up your green and your red, depends on your taste. Going to add one third of a cup of maple syrup and you can change in maple syrup or honey, interchangeably nice natural sweetener. Cinnamon, about a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. And a little bit of vanilla, I think it's two teaspoons. I'm gonna give that a stir. Make sure it's all together. For that nice creamy finish, I add about a half a cup of cream. It already looks delicious. Stir one more time. Go ahead and put the lid on. Depending on your crock pot, I can set this at warm and leave it for six to eight hours. It will be ready. The house will smell beautiful like cooked apple pie in the morning. Um, of course, your crock pot, depending on the heat of it, you may have to set it a, at a lower setting or a higher setting. If in the strange event you forget, it's never happened to me, of course, um, you can go ahead and set that right on high and this will be ready for you in two hours flat. Another sustainable substitute is eggs. I could talk all day about eggs, but I'm going to stick to one kind, the boiled egg, which will be ready just as the other ones are when you wake up in the morning. I have the Egg Perfect Egg Timer, which has made boiling eggs a snap. So basically how this little tool works is it's bright red, and depending on how you order up your eggs, either soft, medium, or hard boiled, this bright red changes to a dark red. Because I want mine hard boiled today, I'm going to wait until this entire red area changes to a burgundy like color and then I will, my eggs will be ready and I'll go ahead and drain the eggs and then cover them in ice for a few minutes to totally decrease their temperature. This ensures that their shells come off just like that. This week's top three are insulin, zombie grains, and killer rainbows. Number one is insulin. Insulin is a hormone and a very important one. What you eat is key in regulating insulin levels. Refined food are killers. They destroy your immune system, they spike your blood sugar, and release insulin into the bloodstream. So when that 3.30 afternoon dip comes along, I know you guys want the soda and the crackers. Don't do it. Perhaps choose some nuts, seeds, even a piece of cheese. The other things are just as bad as this box cereal. Here's today's dirty little secret. When insulin is present in your blood, you cannot burn fat. So constantly triggering insulin to be released ensures that that stored fat stays right where it is. Number two, zombie grains. Breakfast cereals are made from refined grains, which are severely mutated and or genetically modified, taking them far away from their original state. You know those fun little shapes you have floating around in your bowl? Those are made possible by the grain undergoing even further processing involving immense heat and pressure. So when you see a box of cereal claiming it's loaded with vitamins and minerals, think twice. How did they get there if the grain's been so processed? It's called isolates. Isolates are vitamins made in a lab and your body has a very hard time digesting and using them. Number three, killer rainbows. We eat with our eyes first, but looks can be deceiving. It may look appealing, but there's something to look for. For example, food dyes. If the label contains artificial flavor or colors, please put it back on the shelf. Keep walking right to the produce section where you can find very real colors and flavors. Food dyes are extremely toxic on your nervous system. Have you ever thought about what they're made out of? I did. I found out they're made of coal tar. They're petroleum based. Ugh. So guys, it's no wonder that disorders like ADD and ADHD continue to be on the rise. Remember, it's not just red dye number 40 and blue 5 you need to look out for. It's all of them, even the ones in your toothpaste. Now this is what I call a breakfast buffet. What I'd like to start with is this delicious crock pot oatmeal. Personally, I like to drizzle mine with a little bit of fresh cream, teeny bit of maple syrup, sprinkle of cinnamon, and for that crunch, top it with a little bit of pecans. Moving right on to this already crunchy 
and delicious granola, I will top the granola with a whole milk yogurt, because remember, there are a lot of vitamins that require fat to be digested properly and absorbed. Last but not least, the perfect boiled egg, thanks to my tool. Added a little bit of salt and pepper, and of course, last but not least, freshly squeezed juice. So, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna try this first. Mm. Perfectly sweet, yet crunchy. For sure, for sure my favorite. However, one more rule of tongue for me, never pass up a boiled egg. Don't mind if I do. Delicious. Join us next time when we talk acronyms like GMO. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure and do so. You'll be the first to know when I release another video. Until then, keep reading your labels. It's how to take your pantry from where it is to better, one step at a time. That, my friends, is La Bella Verita.